guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. My name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, I am the guy that four years ago sold everything he owned, his house, his cars, his companies went all into his Bitcoin, took his family into this beautiful camper van and started traveling the world. Now, four years later, still traveling the world, now coming to you from this beautiful beach here in Chalaklam, Koh Phangan in Thailand. Today, guys, we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price. Sadly, we didn't close above 9,300 with the monthly candle. I'm going to tell you what this means. We are going to show you why Max Kaiser thinks we are going to 500,000 US dollar Bitcoin price. Also going to talk about the Bitcoin whales because we can see many more whales, but there is also some other interesting fact we can see as well. Luckily, we are able to use our crypto.com debit cards again because Wirecard started to operate again. Also sharing these new possibilities of undoing your Bitcoin transactions. Huh? Is this going to be bad or good for the Bitcoin blockchain? And I will end the video by sharing all the UK numbers, how many people bought Bitcoin, how many people own Bitcoin, how many people store their Bitcoins in an exchange or in another way, how did these people buy Bitcoin and do they even trust the thing they just invested in? Enjoy today's video, guys. Let's take a jump into my office. A different jump today. Yes, only 10 meters to the right of my normal jump. Now this is exactly in front of my house. Today I'm decided to walk to the right again on the beach because I walk so many times to the left. I'm going to talk, walk to the right. Hopefully this will not disable my creativity because somebody told me walking to the left enables creativity of the brain to the right disables it let's see if this is really true the bitcoin price guys yes like i mentioned in many videos a few hours ago was a very important moment for bitcoin it was the close of the monthly candle and i wished this close was above 9300 us dollars the close sadly was not above 9300 dollars the close was around 9150 us dollars so we came about 250 US dollars short to close above this multi-year downwards trend line. So what does this now exactly mean? This means that we are still in a downtrend. If we look to the 20K top in 2017-18, since then we only have been making lower highs, lower highs. So this is a downtrend. You can see the big red line this is the line I would wish we have crossed. We didn't cross this line. We stayed below it. The positive part though is that now this line is going down. So the next month it will be more easy to close above this trend line because the number will go down. It's not 9,300 now in the next month. Maybe it is like 9,200 in the next month. So this monthly candle we are in now, the July monthly candle, we need to close above 9,200 ish. Let's see if we can manage it this month. So now we didn't close this candle above 9,300. You might ask me, so what do we need to watch now, Didi? I think the next level we need to watch is 8,600-ish. This is a very important level. <clears throat> I drew the line of 8,600 on the chart as well. It's the thinner green line. And you can see this line has been, has been touched by many candles in the past. It or was resistant or it was support. So this is the level we need to watch for. We need to keep above 8,600 because if we cross below 8,600 guys in the next couple of weeks, we will see a bigger downwards movement to even 7K for example. Because if we look to this chart, you can see the Fibonacci retracement tool on the monthly chart. You can see that the 23.6 level of the Fibonacci retracement is around 7K. So if we cross below 8,600 in the next couple of weeks, then be aware we could fall down to 7K. So that would be a moment to exchange your Bitcoins into a stable currency like Tether or DAI and then buy back at 7K so you can, you know, make a little bit more Bitcoins out of this trade. Is this now really bad? No, it's not really bad because if you zoom out, you can see if you look at the last couple of years, 
this second quarter of this 2020 is still one of the strongest quarters ever of Bitcoin. We started the quarter at around six and we ended at around 9,100. This is like a 3,000 growth in a quarter. Bitcoin has in the past only saw two second quarters that were better performing than this second quarter. So for me, I'm still positive. Yes, like I always say, zoom out in crypto, see the bigger picture. If we, do, if we fall down to 8K or 7K, make sure you have some stable currencies aside and you can buy the dip. Why do you need to buy the dip? No, because I already educated you on this because we are in the beginning of the next bull run, guys. We can look at this small volatility and these small numbers going up to 8 and 10 and 8 and 10. But if you zoom out and we see all the indicators that have been flashing in the last couple of weeks and months, you know, the hash ribbon indicator. And if you look at the stock to flow chart and all these charts, we see that we started the bull run if you look at the market as a long term investor. And yes, in my opinion, between now and two years, we see a 100K Bitcoin. But there are people on this world that are even more positive than me, guys. They expect even higher prices. Max Kaiser is one of these very bullish people. He thinks Bitcoin will go to 500,000 US dollar. And his reason for this is that the hash war between the United States, Venezuela and Iran will create a huge pump of the Bitcoin price. Iran currently has like 3% of all the hashing power in the world. And I think it's Venezuela that has between 3 and 5% of the hashing power in the world. He thinks that now the United States will want to win this hashing power war. He thinks that the United States wants to have minimum of like 20% hashing power of all the Bitcoin mining, which then could drive the Bitcoin price all the way up to 500,000 US dollar before 2030. Okay, yesterday also a report said Bitcoin is going to go to 400K before 2030. Now Max Kaiser is saying Bitcoin is going to go to 500K before 2030. We have um, all the other billionaires that stepped into the Bitcoin market that believe as well Bitcoin is going to go to a few hundred thousand US dollar before 2030. So why would we even doubt all these people that have all this knowledge about markets and trading? I think guys, we are up for an amazing time, an amazing bull run. And I think it's a, mo it's a beautiful moment to step into Bitcoin now. Buy a little bit today. If we dip, buy a little bit more. If we increase to 10,000, buy a little bit more. If we break 10,500, go all in because then maybe the full bull run has started. All in, like me, sell your house, sell your cars, don't sell your wife and kids, but sell all other materialistic stuff and then invest it in Bitcoin, start to travel the world and then just enjoy life every little single minute of the day. I need to cross a bridge guys, or a tunnel, however you call it. I need to be quick because there are mosquitoes here. Now we go to the second part of the beach. And the second part is also a very beautiful part. Ah. Oh. A very interesting move we can see now in this Bitcoin uh, scene is that there are more Bitcoin wills than ever. I think we reach a three year all time high if it comes to Bitcoin wills. A Bitcoin will, guys, is somebody that holds more than 1,000 Bitcoins in their wallet. So you might think now, yeah, but if there are more Bitcoin wills, this whole industry gets more centralized because less e people are able to own Bitcoin and only a few own the, uh, the biggest part of Bitcoin. Luckily, guys, this is not true. Yes, we can see in the data that the Bitcoin wills are tremendously increasing and we reach this three-year top of amount of Bitcoin wills. But we can also see that the Bitcoin whales wealth is decreasing. So yes, more Bitcoin whales, but they all own a little bit less Bitcoins. So the opposite is true, that the world is now even being more decentralized because the Bitcoins around are being shared by more whales. This day, the 1st of July, is also a very important moment to me, guys, because it is the day my mother used to celebrate her birthday. 1st of July, she was born. Of course, you already know she's in heaven, so she is now celebrating together with my father in heaven her beautiful birthday. So I wish you an amazing birthday in heaven, mom. And I wish you could be here on this beautiful island of Copenhagen 
and celebrate this with me and my family but I know you can always see me from above there and you will always support me and everything I do in my life some other views guys do you remember that I told you I think it was on the waterfall video I told you about this uh, debit card issuer Wirecard had huge problems because they lost track of like 2.1 billion US dollar and because of this the crypto.com and the 10x cards were frozen for some time they just unfroze their cards and again for European people so European people can start to use the crypto.com and the 10x cards again because Wirecard is continuing its business it's opening the doors again so we can happily use all the crypto.com Bitcoin debit cards again and if you want to own a crypto.com debit card please use my referral link guys i am making that content for you every day it takes me a lot of time the only revenue i make is these referral links and these referral links bring in some money and we will share this money with the poor people all over the world that we meet this is our only goal in life to share as much as possible with the people that need it so we need your help we need more views we need more thumbs up we need more likes we need more sharing we need more subscribers we need to get this youtube channel one of the biggest youtube channels around so that we can share a shitload of uh, revenue with all those people that we want to help and we will show it by making videos about this guys you are already doing an amazing job you grew our channel to amazing heights every video is being watched multiple thousand times every day we are uh, yesterday's video almost five thousand times again so this is huge and we got so many likes and love i i really i'm really thankful for it we need to share the channel a little bit more so we can grow more and more and more we need to reach my 10,000 subscribers goal as soon as possible because then the real party starts then the real beautiful content can be created because you will enjoy all these smiling faces i am going to give this revenue to this is exactly what makes me happy but the content i will create out of it will make you happy as well because you will then understand and know it was not me that created this revenue for those people it was you it was you guys out there that supported my channel my content my family's content you supported it by watching it you supporting it by sharing it and liking it so you created this revenue i created the content because you create the revenue i share the revenue so we become a team and this team i refer to as the bitcoin family this is the ultimate goal of the bitcoin family not being a five-headed family of two adults and three children becoming a huge family all over the world a bitcoin family that cares about sharing that, do that doesn't only care about accumulating wealth which is not bad because i want to help you accumulate wealth but i also want to teach you that if you accumulate wealth what to do with this wealth because this wealth can change the world it can not only change your family's world but it can change many people's world that is why you are in this together i am going to take you on this multi-year trip together i am going to show you how we as a family can lead by example but how also you as a family can follow and do the same and become a bitcoin family member but to get back to the story guys you can now use your crypto.com card again so use my affiliate link if you want to have this card the card is very interesting you can use it to pay everywhere in the world where visa is uh, supported you can use it to stack your bitcoins to stack your us dollar tether to stack your die to stack any other currency that is supported by crypto.com and by stacking it you earn interest guys this interest can go up to 18 percent per year and you're paid on a weekly base so if you stack 10,000 US dollar worth of crypto.com coins in the app you will receive 1800 US dollars yearly and this is going to be paid weekly to you which means if you get paid on a weekly base you can use your weekly payments to stack more which will cumulative increase your staking amount and which in will increase your weekly revenue again it's a beautiful concept it's a beautiful card I would take it just use my affiliate link because of the reason I just shared with you guys some very other cool development in the Bitcoin industry now that is there is an Israeli 
blockchain startup. I think they are called Kirobo. And Kirobo now, they claim to have invented undo button for your Bitcoin transactions. So you know how it feels always when you send this Bitcoin to somebody else or you do a payment. You need to fill this whole Bitcoin address. You don't need to because you can send Bitcoins to an email address and telephone number and all the other options if you use, if you use the Lite.im wallet. Of course, also a referral link in my video. But if you use the normal um, Bitcoin wallets and you send your transactions, you're always in this fear, anxiety of, oh, hopefully I didn't send it to a wrong address. Hopefully I copied and pasted the address in the right way and all this stuff. Most of people have it. I still have it when I said larger amounts. I always need to double check, you know, the, the amount I sent. I always need to double check the wallet address I pasted or I typed in. So I know this feeling, guys. I've been in this industry. I know what you feel. But this Israeli blockchain startup now created an undo transaction button, which means if you send a Bitcoin, you're always able to undo your transaction. Before you say, no, oh, this will corrupt the blockchain. No, you cannot change this blockchain. Uh, the Bitcoin blockchain is decentralized and it cannot be changed. They just created an application that if you send your Bitcoins to a receiver, uh, they both receive a code and they both need to fill this code and the password to be able to receive the Bitcoins. Up till that moment that the receiver filled the code, the sender is able to retrieve the Bitcoins back. Person A sends Bitcoin to person B, A and B then reserve a code, and when they both enter the code, then the transaction will follow. If B doesn't enter the code yet, or A doesn't enter the code yet, he can retrieve the Bitcoins back to his wallet. I think it's a really big invention. I didn't look all into the technical details just, I just read this article. So I'm going to look deeper into it, but if this is true, and it will decrease the fear for people to send transactions using cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. So let's see how this story will evolve. The last part of the video, guys, I want to spend to the UK, never left the British pound. So let's check into the UK and how they love Bitcoin, if they even love Bitcoin. The numbers always tell the truth. 2.6 million people of the UK ever bought cryptocurrencies. At the moment, 1.9 UK people own cryptocurrencies. This is 3.86% of the whole UK populations. So almost 4% of all the UK people own cryptocurrency at the moment. We grew with 1% in one year time. If we look at how many people heard about cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin, 73% now heard about Bitcoin. Last year, this was only 43%. So the awareness is increasing tremendously in UK. So this 1% growth we did last year, I think it will multiply by a few percent next upcoming year. 50% of the cryptocurrencies holders holds less than 286 pounds. So 50% of the UK people that hold cryptocurrency holds less than 286 pounds. And also here in cryptocurrency, we see the same as in fiat. 80% of all the wealth in cryptos is held by 1% of the crypto holders. This is not so positive. To become more decentralized, more people need to hold the wealth in crypto. So this 1%, we should be increasing to like 30%. Another cool thing to know is that 77% of the UK people use an exchange to buy their cryptos. So 23% was able to be creative and buy cryptos in another way. I will make another video about how to buy Bitcoins without using an exchange in uh, the next time, guys, because else this video is becoming too long. 83% of these UK people that bought on exchanges used a non-UK exchange, so they all use exchanges outside of the United Kingdom. And of all these cryptos that the people of the UK have bought, 24% is held in cold storage, so that means offline. 34% transferred their cryptos to another crypto wallet. And 46% is still holding their Bitcoins on the exchange where they bought their Bitcoins. I am saying Bitcoins now, Didi, because you said there are multiple currencies they bought. Yes, I'm going to show you these numbers as well, because that's very interesting to see, of course. What kind of cryptos did these UK people buy? 63% of them bought Bitcoin, 33% of them bought Ethereum, and 22% of them bought Litecoin. Around 6% bought DAI, 3% bought US Dollar Tether, and I think it was about 2% that bought USDC. 
So my golden combo, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum represents also the UK. Most people trust these three big currencies that have been around for many years. Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. Always a nice combo to own. A, a number we really need to work on is the number that shows us that 89% of the people thinks that investing in cryptocurrencies is less safe than doing other investments in the traditional way like stocks, bonds, real estate. So we need to lower this 89% to or like 50% because I think we need to decrease the fear of investing in cryptocurrencies. So increase the trust level of investing in this market so that more people will be feeling safe to step into this beautiful industry of cryptocurrencies. I hope you really enjoyed these numbers. I hope that I'm able to present numbers of multiple currencies in the next couple of videos I'm going to create. I am going to turn around because we are at the end of the beach, guys. There is one more thing I want to share with you guys. And that thing is that I told you yesterday that TikTok was not safe to use. Of course, I understand TikTok is one of the fast growing social medias out there. And my kids love to use it and I love to use it as well. So it's safe to use TikTok, but it's not safe to copy and paste your private key and your Bitcoin wallet address and your seed words and all that stuff because then TikTok has access to your clipboard. The good news though is today is I read an article that there will be a decentralized version of TikTok. It will be called CanCan with a C, C-A-N-C-A-N. So they are going to be the new decentralized version of TikTok. I think it's created by Dfinity. I didn't look into the technical details yet. I didn't test the app. I don't even know if I can even test the app at the moment. So if CanCan is watching this video, this is a shout out to CanCan. Send me some more information. Send me some more details. I would love to be a tester of a decentralized version of TikTok where people will be incentivized for all this time and creativity they invest into creating all these amazing TikToks or should I say CanCans in the future because I think that the world of social media slowly needs to decentralize a little bit more. I think that if people not spend time on these beaches or wherever on the world but spend time on social media watching these videos they should be able to be incentivized for watching the videos and sharing the videos. And I also think for the other ones, the ones that are walking on the beach and creating this insane TikToks all over the world by combining all these amazing places in the world, do not TikToks home in your kitchen or not TikToks home in your bedroom, but create TikToks by just walking here and exploring the world. For all these guys that create these amazing TikToks, I think they should be incentivized as well. This is exactly what I teach my kids every day. I tell them every day, okay, you can spend time on TikTok and you can watch all these social media guys and the content these people create, but you can also become a creator. And I think if it comes to creativity, this will have a big future. So I will lead by example for my kids by creating all this content and show them, please create content because you can combine creating content with creating an adventure, adventurous life. You don't need to create a TikTok in your kitchen. You can create a TikTok here on this base, on this beach, with this view, and then combine it with interaction of the Thai people on a market or whatever. And by combining these two facts, the growth of possibilities in social media with making life adventurous, that will be, make you guys a good creator. So that is what I try to teach my kids and I slowly succeed as I see they are not making these TikToks anymore inside the house, but they are slowly going outside. Of course, they are pubers. They are 15 and 13 and 10 years old. They are still a little bit ashamed of people watching it and them and all of that. But I try to take away that fear as well by showing that I as a dad and a 42 old young guy is also just doing YouTube videos and 4,000 people are watching me doing crazy stuff every day. Most of them probably like it, but I cannot see this in the thumbs up guys. So I need to see more thumbs up. I see we have 4,000 views, but I only have 200 thumbs up yesterday. So we need to see more thumbs up. I want to see thumbs up all over the screen guys. I want to see a thumbs up here. I want to see a thumbs up there. I want to see thumbs up everywhere. I want to break the 300 thumbs up resistance. I want to see 300 thumbs up today because I think I deserve it. Again created I think some cool content on a beautiful beach here in Thailand. If you did like the video give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video I make, share it with your communities and even if you're up to it leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments guys. 
like I always end my videos, you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to zoom in in life because you need to enjoy every single minute of the day. This is exactly what makes life worth living. I really enjoyed breaking this video today, but it's bloody hot. The sun is burning on my face early in the morning, so I'm going to take a dip in this beautiful sea there, man. I wish you an amazing day and I hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye. How high to high? No one knows. How low?